So I was thinking about some old TV shows the other day, and the topic of Arthur got brought up in this conversation between me and my brain. The first thing I thought was that episode where Arthur just duffs his sister in the dome. Hilarious. The second thought I thought was, like, did anyone actually think he was an aardvark? Like, you're trying to tell me that this is an aardvark. I was like three years old, and I was like, fucking bullshit. Horseshit. That's what I said. I said it to my mom. I was like, that's horseshit. Wait, what? He didn't always look like that? Too scary for kids? Okay, I get it. Still bullshit, though. Call him Arthur the Monkey. Marvin the Monkey. Benny the Bunny. Didn't have to be a fucking aardvark. Anyways. So, uh, evidently the word aardvark means earth pig, which I can... Yeah, I see it. His face don't really look like much of a pig. Kinda looks like an anteater. It does eat ants. I didn't know they were so goddamn big, dude. I was over here living in a reality where like, dude, I'd stomp an aardvark. I'd fucking destroy an aardvark in a 1v1. I'd make that aardvark my bitch. Turns out they weigh more than me. Like on the low end, they're 130 pounds. I don't weigh that much. 180 pounds in the high end, and I'm sure they get bigger. How do they do it, dude? How do these animals do it? They just eat ants and fucking termites all day, and they're like, yeah, I'm fucking... I'm an elephant, dude. Evidently, the way to do it is eat 50 fucking thousand of them a day. Or night, I guess, because they eat at night. And you might be thinking, hey, ants, termites, dog shit nutritional value. You'd be correct. They are. They have terrible nutritional values. But you don't give a shit. You're an aardvark. You eat 50,000 of them, so who gives a shit? And evidently, you can run 25 fucking miles per hour after eating them, too. 25 miles per hour, dude. That might not seem like a lot in the animal kingdom, but I challenge you to run 25 miles per hour. No shot you run 25 miles per hour. You probably can't even ice skate 25 miles per hour. That's fucking insane. I thought I could outrun an aardvark. Nope. Apparently, they climb trees, too. Why? Fucking boredom? I don't know. I guess there's ants and shit on trees sometimes, mostly on the ground, but I think they're just flexing on us. And I'm sick of all these animals climbing trees and shit, bro. I don't look up very often. I'm pretty low to the ground. Like, if, it, if a fucking aardvark falls in my head i'm dead i die anyways we, get, we gotta talk about this nose bro this nose is fucking stupid it's it's so silly if i looked like this and didn't have an amazing sense of smell i'd be pissed i'd be so mad i'd be like god you're a dick luckily for the aardvark they have like the best smell in the animal kingdom for sense of smell whatever the fuck i wonder if they use that thing in the bedroom bro they're missing out. That's a, that's a missed opportunity. If they ain't using that thing to 69, they fucked up. I bet these things can smell better than a fucking repressed priest at a gay bar. <laughs> Every now and then when I'm researching these videos, I stumble upon some, some of the bright minds of planet Earth. And whoever asks this question... That's... Yeah. Do, do aardvarks fart? Yes. What? What doesn't fart? I bet fish fart. I bet... I bet fucking amoebas fart. Everything farts. It's part of life. If you don't fart, you don't live. All mammals fart. Guarantee you. Haven't even looked it up. I bet birds fart and they got one big hole. I bet it, I bet it just fucking... But it's like a grandpa fart. But like dust comes out of it when they fart. I want dust to come out of my butt when I fart. That'd be hilarious. I'm a little conflicted on this one too as to where to rate them on the reincarnation scale because I'm still pissed about the Arthur thing. Like it's really bugging me. Like... You, why you gotta lie to me like that? But I gotta be fair to the yardvarks out there who might be watching. They don't. I don't. I don't want an yardvark army outside my house. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go 90. On all, in all honesty, it probably should be higher because like there's really nothing wrong with the yardvark. They're actually very successful. They're not endangered at all. There's multiple different types of species, and I'm pretty sure none of them are endangered or even close to being endangered. They don't really get hunted. Some of them do because, well. We hunt everything, like everything that lives we hunt. They can dig a hole better than like a fucking backhoe on amphetamines. Oh man, that just got me thinking, bro. Imagine sleeping in that hole, having the best sense of smell in the world, and then your wife farts. Or you fart, and you don't like your own flavor. I don't know if you guys ever farted in a hole before, but it's like a shower fart. It's not, it's not a good fart. It's a lot more oomph to a fart underground. Kind of echoes too. All right, I'm gonna end this on a story. Story time. One time when I was in like seventh grade, I was I was in gym class, and when we did our warm ups, we weren't allowed to talk because we were a rowdy class, and it was like half of our grade was in there, like 30 people. And my fucking, we're doing sit ups, dude. We're doing sit ups, right? My butthole is like flat on the linoleum. My butthole was kissing the gym floor, right? Fucking silent in there. You could hear a pin drop, right? All you hear is like people breathing and shit. And I fucking rip a fart so loud that I heard it three times. I farted once, I heard it three times. It just reverberated around the room. Everyone just starts laughing and looking around, like trying to hold back their laugh because they're not supposed to be talking. Like, <laughs> and everyone's looking around and I'm sitting there like, oh, I gotta blend in. Oh, that was funny guys, right? And I see my buddy, he knows. He fucking knows it was me and he's staring at me in the eyes and he's just laughing. And I'm like, it was my shoe. <laughs>